In uh, tutorial 3 we looked at different ways to check out what PowerShell version we were using and in this tutorial we are going to upgrade PowerShell version 2 to PowerShell version 3 on a Windows 7 computer. Now to do this there are a few prerequisites. First of all we need to have Windows 7 updated with uh, Service Pack 1. So let's go in on uh, the control panel and system and we see here that we have service pack 1 already installed now we also need to have uh, the Microsoft.NET framework version 4 or 4.5 on our computer and that's the full version and not just the client if you don't have it you need to download and install it here's how you can uh, check if you have it or not open up regedit.exe on your uh, computer and we want the following sub key here H key local machine and we want software and Microsoft now you have something called .NET framework here on top but what we want is uh, further down here net framework setup and NDP now here you can see the versions that's uh, installed on your computer now version 4.5 is uh, an update to version 4 so uh, let's uh, click on uh, version 4 here and you can see we have the full version and also the client if we have something here called release D word and the numbers here coordinate to uh, Windows 7 37 87 58 we have the dotnet framework 4.5 installed on uh, the computer now this is a different number for uh, Windows 8.1. Now what's interesting here is um, that PowerShell is supposed to run faster with the .NET Framework 4.5 but if you have either 4 or 4.5 you're good to go. If not you need to install that. I want to show you one thing here. If you go in on Google and you type upgrade PowerShell 3.0 you're going to come to the TechNet Microsoft site and here you're going to uh, find the links to download the .NET Framework 4.0 the full setup and 4.5 the full setup and here is our last prerequisite before installing Windows Management Framework 3.0 uninstall any previous versions of Windows Management Framework 3.0 just so you know so before we start downloading the Windows Management Framework 3.0 let's uh, go in on PowerShell here run as administrator and uh, like we learned in uh, the last tutorial here dollar sign PS version table and right now we do have PS version 2.0 here okay one more trip uh, back to Google Windows management framework 3.0 and we have the Microsoft site and here we want to check the install instructions because what we want now on my computer which is a 64-bit version I want this if you have a 32-bit version you don't want that so let's click on the download and this is the version that uh, we want and let's uh, open it
So, installation is uh, complete and you must restart your computer for the updates to take effect. And uh, I will do that now, which means that uh, my Camtasia Studio has to close down for a second and then I'll start everything up again afterwards. I have restarted the computer and let's just check to see that it was uh, installed. All programs, Windows Update and view update history and right here you see it's installed successfully now the last thing we want to do here is go in on PowerShell run as administrator and let's uh, do what we learned in uh, our last tutorial we want the dollar sign PS version table and we now have PS version 3.0